Congratulations, you are going to play for a Conference USA Championship now. Your team is still undefeated at 8-0 now, and you get out of here with a 42-29 win in Bowling Green. What was your message to the team in the locker room? Well, one, uh, that uh, excited about the win. You know, anytime you can come in, it's, they're, they're a good team, and, and you know, we've got a, a great opportunity to see them again. Uh, they're a good team, and it's a hard place to win. And I thought the first half was, you know, back and forth, and I really was pleased with their offense in the second half. I thought they did a fantastic job. I told them that. I told their defense, we got to start a new streak. We played we played the type of defense for three quarters. Fourth quarter, we you know we didn't live up to our standard, and so. Uh, but you still find a way to win, which is which is a positive, and um, you know excited about having an opportunity to play for the conference championship. That's what you that's what you want to shoot for. Now we you know now we got to continue to take care of business. We want to host it. I think it was less than 100 yards rushing in the first half. You wind up finishing with 324, so 200 plus in the second half. What were you able to do to start ripping off those big chunks in the run game? Well, they, you know, the first half they were just—it was like a smorgasbord. They were just throwing stuff everywhere, you know. And, and so we we hit some big plays, but then they get us because we were trying to just try to identify what they were trying to do. And so in the second half, we were able to get some formations that we knew we were safe in no matter what. And our, our guys, our guys played hard. They blocked like crazy. And then obviously you got a quarterback that can make something happen in the run game as well. And uh, you know, we made it a decision that we were hey, we're going to control the ball and uh, we're going to control the line of scrimmage. And, and uh, we just did a couple of different formations that put us in some advantageous situations and our guys handled it. You've talked all season, ever since you got to Liberty, really about playing for a conference championship. You clinch a spot in that game tonight. Uh, how how uh, exciting is that? And obviously, not, the job's not done, but just, uh, you know, one little check in the box, right? What well, is, you know, you know, as a coach, you don't give yourself a lot of time to think about that because there's always something coming. But uh, to be able to get that, or at least secure, that's great, you know. And, uh, but I told our team, you know, we want to host it too, you know. And so we got a great opportunity on our next game to, take care of business and be able to host it. And so they, they put themselves in a great position. Uh, the thing that you want your team to, to do is always be hungry for something more, right? Can we play better? And it's not necessarily the win, but can we continue to play our best game? And we played really well in a lot of ways, but it's still out there. So um, we're, we're thankful for it, grateful for it, um, but um, that's not our ultimate goal yet. How proud of you of, are, are you of the team? You know, just their, their mentality going on the road and, and uh, you know, a tough environment uh, on a Tuesday night and against a good team, preseason favorite. Yeah, no, I mean, I, I think we got a chance to see them again. And what I was pleased with, we had we had a good week of preparation, arguably our best week. And I think from an offensive standpoint, you saw us play pretty well. I think, and even in the first half, if we don't get that penalty on uh, one of those long runs, I think Caden had early on, you might score right before halftime. You know, so I thought they played well. I thought our defense was really, really good for three quarters. You know, and so, and it showed up how we prepared. And so, uh, I'm pleased with. Our effort. I'm pleased with the mentality, the way they're practicing, and not looking ahead, not worrying about things that we can't control. Just coming in and, and finding a way to get better. Uh, and you know, but that that elusive uh, being our best is still out there. And so we got we got we still got something to chase. And and, and hopefully we'll never get it. Hopefully we we'll get close, 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 close to it. You talk about you know, playing defense for three quarters, and then just looked like just a couple of busted plays there in the in the fourth quarter, and then you know they drive the length of the field pretty much off of the, I think on the other one. Just, is it just some of it just tough holding that offense down, or were there particular things that you saw that, that need to be corrected? Well, they're good. You know, I mean, they, they threw a couple of nice passes. They got a PI, you know, to get some yardage. The ones that you get frustrated on are uh, on the one drive there after we took the lead. I think they had a third and 17, and they had another third down, and we, you know, we let them get that and busted. So you get frustrated on that. And then the very next play, you know, they were 60. We, we don't communicate right. And they get an easy cheap play. If they drive the field on you and you're executing and they just better than you on that, we can live with that. What we can't live with is us beating ourselves. Liberty cannot beat Liberty. And that's our been our message from day one. We will not beat ourselves. And I thought we did that a little bit in the fourth quarter defensively. And um, we can't allow that to happen. If they they're good, don't get me wrong. They they might have drove down anyway, but at least make them learn. You know, we, we were up with eight minutes to go, two and a half, 19 points, and we got the ball back with eight minutes to go on only a thirteen. You know, I mean that can't happen. Western got had three uh, red zone trips there in the first half and ended up with just 10 points, forced two uh, field goal attempts, and, and they missed one. Uh, how important was that, you know, so you could go into the locker room with the lead? I think that was a key. I think that whole first half because they uh, they were driving the ball. They, they obviously right down the field the first one, and then, you know, we, we found our footing a little bit, but they, they missed the field goal, which was big, got a field goal, but we held them without touchdowns, which was big. And then offensively, you know, we had a great first drive, and then, and then uh, you know, you're, you're in that where – 
hey, is this going to be a scoring fest? You know, we're not. We're trying to figure out what they're doing. Like go for it on a couple fourth downs just to try to keep the ball. I know probably our AD's probably going, well, where'd you go for it on fourth and one on backed up? But hey, we're, we're here to win, right? We're here to win. And uh, but we were filling it out a little bit, you know. And I think our defense kept us in there a little bit. Where they could have, they scored twenty one. You know, you're down. That's a big difference. And then you know we came out in the third quarter with a press. Yeah, no hesitation to go for it there on that fourth and five in their their territory, and then Salter comes up with a big time throw on the touchdowns. Is that just him making a play there. Yeah, I mean he, uh, you know, when he's out of the pocket, there's no telling what's going to happen. It's usually something good, and uh, he made a he made a tremendous throw. Uh, one, he was tremendous to get out get out from the pressure, and then two, just where the throw was. Only our guy could catch it. It was great, great job, I and mean, he and he did he played really well. Uh, you know, I, he can't get personal fouls. I'm telling him that because he's standing here listening to me. Can't get per- he's a he's a role model. He's a role model to, in college football and everybody because of the way he's playing. And everybody's looking up to him, and he's he's been tremendous for us. And uh, but uh, we're we're proud to have him. Preston Hodge about the job he did in coverage tonight again. Yeah, I mean that, you know that's been the beauty of him being able to play nickel or play some corner. We've had some injuries there. We were down two corners that played a lot of football for us, and I hope we can get them back. You know after this open date. And so, but to have his versatility has been key. Uh, to be able to move him, you know, in and out and, and do some. He's had to cover some really good receivers, and uh, he's done a really nice job. And what, how do you, you know, kind of last question here, how do you treat this upcoming, is it just a, an open date now? It's kind of odd. You don't get the full week, but, you know, you kind of get back into a rhythm next week. Yeah, we'll, we'll uh, you know, we'll get back tomorrow. Hopefully, hopefully, with, if everything goes well, Lord willing, we'll get back at a decent time. And then tomorrow's their normal off day. We'll bring them in Thursday, and then uh, we do meetings and all that stuff, and then, Friday will be uh, will be a lot practice, and then we'll give them a couple of days there uh, off from a Saturday, Sunday wise to get the body and the mind ready, and then we're back at it Monday. So, but we we'll, we need to give them some time away, and so from a practice standpoint, these next you know three, four, five days is going to be um, we'll practice some, but it'll be it'll be more fundamental stuff because they need to they need to get more of their bodies right, they need to get their minds right. Sometimes you need to get away from football too, you know, you need to be able to do that, and, and I'm sure coaches would love for me to let them get away from football too. <laughs> All right, Coach, appreciate the time. Congratulations. All right, flames.